Hi folks, Mel here, and I just wanted to say thank you for coming to my channel and subscribing to the new people, and hi for the old subbies. Um, I uh, recently did the challenge for Operation Valentine's, and I have gotten an overwhelming um, amount of responses, emails every day, and uh, my phone dies 10 times a day with everybody asking for my emails, and of course I'm new to YouTube, and that was my first challenge, and so... Um, I kind of kind of goofed on a couple things like didn't leave my email address for you to uh, contact me to say you were interested to send them to me and so on and so forth so I apologize for any confusion um, I you know again I'm just new to this whole YouTube thing and I honestly did not think in a million years that my little idea was gonna turn into a big idea um, but I thank you for those of you who have participated so far and I kind of felt like I would do um, a video response um, unveiling a few packages at a time and so I bundled up four that I've received so far um, from YouTube subscribers and I wanted to show them off and also wanted to give you a heads up that uh, my sister scrapper sweet sweet lady I will try and link her um, YouTube info below I'm new to this like I said so give me a minute I'm gonna try I've never done it so I don't know how to link things but um and I'll try to link everybody in here as well, hoping that I can do it. <laughs> if not, I will privately message you and let you know that I did the video. Um, but Tina, um, my sister Scrapper is going to donate also for my prize pack a handmade original from her. And if you've never seen her, please go to her channel. Uh, she is very, very, very talented and she makes the most beautiful things. So I thank you, my sister Scrapper, for donating. And when um, she sends it to me, I'm not going to show it. I'm going to just make it a surprise. So you guys will be surprised as me. I'm kind of jealous, actually, because I would like to own one of her uh, handmade originals. Um, anyway, so let's get started with the four entries that I've gotten so far. I use my cute little, you know, envelope from Target. And my first entry actually was from uh, Craft Time, Zora Sorby, I believe. I, I, don't, I hope I pronounced her last name correctly. Um, she handmade these, and they're super, super, super cute. Can you see those? Oh, there we go. It's better lighting. Aren't those cute? And she sent me three. So she gets one entry into the drawing. Thank you, Zora. These are super cute. And she's from Craft Time, I think, right? Yes, Craft Time, which I will try to link, like I said below. I will try to link <laughs> her to this. Um, and then the next set of cards that I received was from, oh, goodness, let's not rip my little card, is from Tina Kappa. And you guys, most of my people that follow me follow her. But look, and she did a video on these as well, and they are so stinking cute. I'm kind of jealous, guys. I wish people would send me Valentine's. <laughs> um, it's all for a good cause. This is all amazing. These kids are going to be so excited. Look at the little raccoon, you guys. And the elephants. I like how she used a stitch die on here and the stamps and colored, and I love the glitter. She said you couldn't tell in the other video, and she's right. But boy, when you get up close, you can see the pretty glitters. And then the cute pinky elephant ones. And then I really like the rabbits. I think the rabbits are actually kind of my favorite. I, I really like them. So that was from Tina Kappa, and she did, so three, six, not, she did ten, but she gets four entries. So that's from Tina Kappa. And then I received, um, I don't know, I'm not familiar with her, but she's close to me. She lives in Spokane. So her name is Jody Edwards. And she sent me four, uh, five. But look how cute these owl cards are. She embossed them. And I really like him. I, I think he's, a, I kind of think he's pieced, paper pieced. But oh my gosh, look how cute these are. And this little tied, little hearts. I love this embossing folder. The kids are going to love these. <laughs> Thank you, Jody Edwards, if you're watching. And then the last one is from Candy Tiggs. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but it's Canley something. And so Candy Tiggs it is. And look how cute these cards are, guys. Look how cute this little girl is pulling her wagon of hearts. And she's got that same glitter stuff. I wonder what this is because I really like it. Look at that rose. Oh, these are so darling. Candy, you did such a good job. I'm in love with these. I have this. No, I don't have that stamp. I like that stamp. Beautiful. So cute. And I really am digging these sock monkeys. 
I need a sock monkey stamp. These are so cute. The kids are going to love these. I really, really, really like the sock monkeys. And I like this too. It's super pretty. So thank you so much, Candy. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have two entries into the drawing. So thank you, ladies, so much for... Uh, Go ahead and donating these to the challenge, and I will put your names into my pretty little jar. I'm going to hand write them out as I go, and um, I will post the next set of cards that I get in the mail, and I will hope, like I said, I promise, and I hope I can link you to my, um, <coughs> excuse me, to my um, information below the videos. I'm going to try it for my first time. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody so far that has um, been uh, donating and participating in this challenge. It really is for a good cause. Uh, and I also wanted to kind of say too that we are kind of tapped out on boxed cards sets because um, that's for kind of for the littler kids. And the age ge age gap is actually a lot bigger um, from the nine year olds up to 18 year olds. So we're kind of covered for the little kids. So if you're still going to participate, please try to make them homemade cards. Um, things that can be opened so the kids and the families and things can actually write on them and then they can set them up on their uh, nightstands and, and uh, shelves next to them. They don't have wall space that they can just tape cards up to. And believe it or not, these children are there for so long that they actually will use these to decorate their rooms with. So, um, you know, anything that they can set up is great. Um, thank you so much for participating again, ladies. These are wonderful. And um, happy Valentine's Day.